Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Uh, today we are taking a look at Playbeat. It's just had an update. Yes, yes. So you can do some very, very cool stuff. Uh, you could with Playbeat. So I'm gonna do basically. This is gonna be a tutorial. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through everything in 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 in, in some detail so that you can understand what's going on. We'll do it per kind of track, if you like. Um, so you can get Playbeat to sound very, very uh, experimental, but you can also get it to sound very melodic. Uh, so in this uh, particular preset, which is number nine, um, I'm using a couple of Dean's uh, uh, samples that I've imported. I'll show you how to import samples as well. It's super easy. It does it via the files app. But yeah, thank you. Oh, hi, Sam. How are you doing? I've done a few of these videos, but you know, um, but it's because it's just had the updates as well. So, and I think uh, Audio Modern uh, will be uh, popping in. They usually do, and but they know I'm doing it anyway. So, um, okay, right. So, right. Okay. So, um, I'm just sorry. I was just reading a, a, a WhatsApp. So listen to this. This is this is very melodic. And you can hear this that there we've got density steps density We've got steps, density, pitch, volume, and pan, and we can randomize all these independently per track uh, on a per track level. Everything is on a per track level, so it's very it's 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 you can you can really dial in what you want it to do. Hi, Paul. Oh, by the way, now you're here, Paul, and you're and, and you're listening. I just want to say tomorrow night's live stream is a Korg Wave State live stream. Uh, for uh, a, a, a set of patch banks by a guy called Mark Barnes, super clever guy. He's, I think he's the only one who's actually selling them at the moment. And I, he didn't give them to me. I bought them. So it's not like I was just so impressed that I, I emailed him and said, look, I'd love to demo these on the channel. And he was, he was up for it. So he's going to be there as well. But these patches are brilliant for the wave state. Uh, so there's 20 patches per pack sort of thing. So we'll go through most of them, I guess. Hi, Jan. Oh, and thank you very much as well, Jan. Top man for becoming a patron. Brilliant. Okay, so let's see. This bottom one here, which is Sin Bolero, which is one of Dean's. Okay, so let's just look at this one track here, this bottom track. We'll look at density and you will see that on this last one here, it's got eight. So you've got one, 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 one. And then I've put an eight in there. So what happens is this, if we solo this track here and play. So it's like a, it's like ratcheting. Now you can randomize the ratcheting, obviously, or you can just dial it in and you can limit or if we hit the dice, it will limit the ratcheting to uh, four and then a minimum of two and a maximum of four. However, you can then extra dial it in. So if let's let's go with let's randomize the density and you can watch these numbers change. So to put a four on there, it's took that off there. But we can then, if we want to, uh, we can dial our own density up to a maximum of eight. Okay, so that's, that's fine. We'll leave it at that. Let's go back to steps now and let's put another step in here and let's look at our pitch this time. Now you'll see that this is where you can do your melodic sequences, etc., etc. So this first one is on C sharp three. So let's put this up. Uh, actually, we can leave it at that because that'd be fine. I think, yeah. I think the C sharp three will fit. And, and you'll see that if I go further now, there's nothing, well, there is stuff in this other thing. But if I go backwards now, you'll see that this is in C3 and not C sharp three. 
So all I did was for the second pattern, this second number nine from eight to nine, all I did was transpose the bass line and the actual ratcheting line. So the effect we get is this now on preset eight. And you'll see that it's the same as it originally was because I haven't changed anything until number nine. And it's back to the density of what we had it on because I didn't save the pattern. So I'm gonna change the density now for just this line again. I wanna make some changes. I'm gonna go back to my steps here and add another one there. for this because it needs to be a sharp and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this number nine like this and it'll flash like that and now we've saved this but what just to make extra sure I'm going to go to my preset and I'm going to hit this save with samples so save with samples and that, what that will do, it will save the preset with all the samples that we've used. And we can demonstrate that really easily by playing the patch again, the preset again, and we'll swap out some of these samples just quickly with the plus and minus. So we'll swap some of these out, so let's go. So we've com completely changed that now. Let's go to number 10. Let's change that to 16. And go back to number 9. So it's remembered all my samples because I never saved it. But let's do that again, shall we? Just to, just to re reiterate, very clever this is. So let's change the samples for all these again. Let's go to number 10. I'm a woman, 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 I'm a
So samples will re-trigger. I'm a woman with a woman's intuition. And if we go to pitch. I'm a woman with a woman's intuition. 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 And that would be that would have been the original pitch. I'm a woman with a woman's But we can change this sample out, obviously, either by going plus or minus. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient. I tell them it's because okay, of so an that, extra ingredient. Okay, so that sample, for instance, is a little bit too long, but there's several things we can do here. We're not stuck to a specific length. Each track is independently controllable for resolution. Uh, so, for instance, we're, we got our resolution here. We could set this say to one eight and we probably catch the whole of that sample. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient I tell them it's because of an extra okay, ingredient let's go in with every can. That ingredient I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. Brilliant, so that would be I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient... But let's say, okay, we know it finishes about here. Wouldn't it be nice if to just trigger that again from there, but leave these the same? Well, we can do that as well. Each of these is controllable independently. Each track is controllable. And each track has its own length adjustment here. I'll get this with my finger. So we can set it, say, there which is just going to play those three and then theoretically to basically trigger that sample again but keep the others playing let's get it a little root round i tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can and that ingredient is time i tell them it's because you of could an go extra even finer in every can and that ingredient is time let's go one back actually let's stop this and start it again but this time let's unmute or just re-solo this and just play this whole thing. So now you've got that sample playing at the right kind of length. Everything else is a little bit too loud though. So let's go to our first one here and let's reduce the volume for this first track with this uh, volume thing. And then we can do the same with this one. Of course, we can do this on the fly, but uh, now we should be able to hear our sample a bit better. Let's just start from the beginning. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. I tell them it's because of an extra... Hi Daniel, yeah, these are Daniel's samples. So you can see that we can, or we, can, if we wanted to, we could we could get super creative. Let's go to four again, and let's go to steps here, and let's add a couple of steps. So it goes, I tell, I tell, I tell, I tell, I tell them it's an extra and the extra ingredient thing. So I've added two extra steps, right? Uh, but let's go to our timing lane again for this number four and let's add two extra steps let's so do it like this it's easier my thing isn't picking up properly i could probably use the mouse anyway i've added two extra steps so now theoretically it should still it should start at the beginning i tell i tell i tell i tell them it's a, an extra ingredient kind of thing and then it will still play the whole thing because if we've added those two extra stutter steps back in at the end sort of thing so I tell them it's I tell them it's I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. I tell them it's I tell them it's I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. That ingredient is time. I tell them it's I tell them it's I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient. Now you might notice as well, let's solo this again, that it's pitching differently. So let's look at the pitches. C3, C sharp, and then A A sharp. If we don't want it to pitch, we can just set these the same. So there we go. And then, oops, just there. And then, uh, I just want to go up C3. 
So they'll all be the same now. I tell them, I tell them, I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. Or we could go even more creative. Um, maybe say, go to our steps again and add maybe another step. Go to pitch and then pitch up um, on two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Actually, we'll pitch up to, where's that G? And then we'll pitch this up to uh, B3, uh, C4. And then we'll go mad and pitch this up to F4. So now we'll get a, a, a rise in pitch as it goes up. And then it will play. And it, I might as well now I can just maybe add it to the end. And it's going to sort of pick up properly. So start again. I tell him. 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 Let's change out some of the other stuff, okay? Let's let's make this a little bit more sensible on the actual no, normal part of it. So if we select our, our 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 bass drum there, we can excuse me, we can just get rid of it by hitting this, and it'll just clear out the that track. Or we can, of course, just take our this. By the way, is sample start and, and end points you can adjust as well. Uh, we'll get to the actual um, shuffle, the shuffles, shuffle, it shuffles the beat like, you know, adds a bit of swing. The infinite, infinity uh, looper we can look at as well. Uh, and again, you can have up to 32 steps or par 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 portions of 32 steps. So let's go to this third one here and we can just take this out. Or like I said, because we're highlighting it, we can just undo it and it will take it out. And it, it clears every, if we use this one up here, it clears everything and, and resets the defaults to everything sort of thing, you know. Actually, has it reset the defaults on that? The, just select this one and reset the defaults and just make sure I've, everything's reset now. So you have panning probability as well. And you can set the distance you see left as, 20 uh right i think 50 is the max however uh, and then you have volume should be all set at 100 percent apart from this last row because we're not messing with that um pitch again this should be all over the place because we have made any adjustments to this density and steps now a, a way to stop that like we had this that where it carries on the most obvious way to do that is to actually just decrease the length down to here. And what we'll get now is just that loop of that and not, it will just cut itself off. So I tell them, 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 which is very, very cool beans indeed, because that's given us loads of control. Again, we could use the density so it'll go, brrr, you know, like the, it's like a repeat, like a, a ratcheting effect. But let's go and look at this first track, which is going to be our kick drum. And we can just go in here and put some in and just actually play it. Um, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them, let's solo it. I tell them, I tell them, and this is this. But let's go with load sample. We don't, you know how to import a sample. If we scroll down now, there's your user samples or my user samples, as it were, all the different things I've imported in, in here. But we go down, we can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And there are no, loads of new samples. There's A, D, A, E, S samples. And if we stop it, we can hear, we can we can demo the patches, uh, the samples, sorry. I'm turning it up a little bit, I think. I think it's a bit quiet, let's do this. And then uh, getting into some kicks. A 
Oh yes, as well also, if anyone's interested, at the end of the video, I'll be showing you Joe's new creation. She's built a church, starters, well, some people will know because he's posted some photos and that, but the whole thing is now complete. Awesome stuff. I'm, I'm not kidding. You'll be amazed. <laughs> uh, so you get these as well. Look, there's loads and loads of new samples. Look like that. So loads of new samples now included. I like that. So I'm going to add that. Just double tap it. And that will add that to my loop. And um, nothing weird is going to happen. You're in control of the weirdness and the randomization, etc., etc. So, you know, you're not, it's not like you're going to lose anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Now, I'm also just going to be on a safe side. I want to hit uh, save and samples just in case. So it saved my new samples. So now if I go back to like number eight. Play that quite like nice melodic pattern. Oh, it's Shazam here. Shazam. Hi, Shazam. Uh, right. OK, so I'm going to just select number 10 again just to see where we're at. On solo this. And if we look at our first one. We'll just lower that. And we'll go to our first one now again. Now you can randomise everything with like you know just if you hit all and start hitting randomization that's cool unless you choose a particular one to lock off so for instance let's choose this one now we know we've got some samples in these already okay so let's go to number four and let's lock number four by hitting this and let's lock the density the pitch the volume and the pan so all randomization now is locked for track four so that is not going to change as we start to randomize however if i go to all now don't forget i've already saved my patch anyway so this is non-destructive if you come up with something amazing just save it to another patch okay uh, is is it okay if i use your pencil idea so my pencil idea, Sam. It's just, just, uh, it's just the pencil, mate. You do whatever you like. <laughs> I don't have the monopoly on videos. Um, right. So, uh, let's see. What, what am I doing now? Oh, so now I'm going to randomise everything else. So all the rest of this stuff is randomizable. Even if I hit all, this isn't going to change. Which is very cool indeed. I'll do it again. So. Let's change the pitch of this one. Let's see what the density is doing. Let's take the density down. And the volume. Now you won't hear the pantos pointless me demoing there. Yeah, these are great. These are fa fabulous. These are the Logitechs. They're really good. Apple Pencil was a bit pricey at the time, you know. I thought, well, this will do. I need, really, genuinely, Sam got it for pointing it, you know, stuff to help it so it was a little bit clearer. Anyway, let's unsolo that. And I'm going like, to like this. So, 
I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to lock everything else on the track. So now this is locked as well. So we're only, we're only going to be randomizing track one and track three now. So you could just do that until you found something you liked. And when you did, you could just then resave and save it as uh, save and samples so that you're, you know, you're sorted out sort of thing. Right. Okay. So let's look at the, now the thing to remember is your presets are going to be saved. It's non-destructive unless until you save another preset. Okay. You, 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 you're, you're fine, you can do what you like. This is a, a one I set up earlier. Here's another one. Yeah, polyrhythmic. So, for, see this one to actually highlight the poly, the polyrhythmic, the polyrhythmicness of it. You'll see on track four, I've got it set over two bars. Um, track three is only set over one bar. Track two is set over one bar, but we could extend that to three bars. there if we look at it sorry track two and then track one and what you can do is you can you can kind of swap this stuff around or make adjustments just hold on to this here and there uh, Here. So now you've got the same pattern playing on all things, and then just go to all and hit randomize. Let's set this up like uh, 32 for everything. Actually, I'll... so 32 for all, right? Randomize. This one's still, I think. So that's pretty cool. So if you like it, you can save it. And then, yeah, back to what we were working on earlier. Okay. Let's go. Let's go with this. Let's clear all with this. So that will clear out the entire thing. Let's just stick with 16 beats because I want to show you the other, the last bits we need. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, you can send MIDI out of play beats as well. So for, I'll do this. For instance, number eight, which is our melodic one, right? I've got it. I've got the melodic part of the uh, melodic part. This track four here, sending MIDI out to Synth Master One.
So any changes I make to this will be reflected with Synth Master 1 as well. Can you step record MIDI into this app? I'm not sure it's got MIDI in, um, but it's pretty easy to kind of dial in the MIDI. Are the pens made of plastic? I would think so, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? So actually, this is a nice pattern to do what I was going to do with anyway. If we go to all, oh, you don't really, you can choose to, let's just do it with this, just to sh again to show you how, how you can, how far you can go with sculpting the sound with uh, Playbeat. We'll just select number four and we will hit the infinity looper and we'll just change that one to a two. So every time it repeats twice, only channel four, only the melodic channel will, is going to change. I say, or if we go to all, everything randomizes, and that's when it starts to get a little bit chaotic. So it's it's nice that you have complete control over absolutely everything you do. Um, and it's just fab. Play, but it's just a it, it's a fabulously creative creative uh, app but the fact that it's so blinking dialable in to import a sample from somewhere else you just go import audio and it takes you directly to uh, audio share where you could go into like uh, oh, Dean's noise candy this like oh that's a, just lovely some lovely kind of vinyl vinyl no, miscellaneous noise let's hit this and now I've got this miscellaneous noise closed and it'll be in my imported samples as well. But now I'm just gonna take these out of here. It's in channel two. I'm gonna enter it into channel two and we've got this. But you see what happened then? Because everything is remembered, it remembers the samples. So that'll be lost. So what we'd have to do is create a new sort of uh, uh, preset with it like so look we'll do check this one for instance i'll just turn synth master one down a sec because it's not really anything to do in fact like i said i'm going to clear this track completely out i'm going to reduce the step size to 16 i'm going to go into import sample i'm going to choose this um miscellaneous noise so it's like vinyl it'll be like vinyl noise close and i'm just going to set this to fire from this one track and you can of course do the pitch to get it where you like it sort of thing and you would be able to like but it's just noise you know what i mean there's no like sort of thing so to get any difference you kind of have to if we just fill them all in like this should be interesting we'll get like a rhythm effect with the noise now but so all we need to go is to pitch 
and just randomize the pictures. Let's randomize everything. So if we go, if we actually look at pictures now. Steps. How cool is that? Maybe change number three out for the snare. She's one of the new ones. Let's save this as pattern 15 and I'll do save it samples. And there's a good thing now we can we can do the actual advance on all. Because we've still got our sample in here, but we can change that. And any time we want to return to our original, just switch the infinity looper off and just go back to the preset you were on. And guys, that is it. Now, that's it. We're done with we're done with Playbeat. Fabulous, marvelous. I suggest if you haven't got it, you go and get it. It's it's great fun. Plus the fact that you can send. If you go, to, if you look what I've done there, uh, I've routed this to AUM channel four. You maybe see it easier in the routing, but AUM destination channel four to synth master one, uh, or uh, so you could send all four to different channels basically and have play be play different instruments, different whatever you like, as well as its own internal samples, etc. As well as the fact that it's an AUV3, so you can have several of them. You could also use it in conjunction with, like, say, their other app play step, uh, uh sorry, filter step and you know get so i mean filter steps free cool beans run the infinity on filter step so anyway guys i need to show you joe's thing she's been working on so what we're going to do is, is we're going to get rid of the iPad and stuff. Um, don't forget to check out Playbeat. There'll be, but there is a link in the description. So we'll just clear that out though, and I'll do this. And Joe, are you? If you're watching, darling, can you bring your chair? To you? And I know some of you have been enjoying Joe's artwork. So you know the cottages and things. So um, yeah, some of the brightness on that. Right. Okay. I should just put this half. Um, yeah, and move my thing there, and, oh, I can't move them. Ta-da! Clean table. So I need to try and set my thing again. Hang on a minute, darling. I need to try and set my table, my thing, so we're going to be able to see it. Oh, well, I haven't turned turntable since. Oh, oh, have you? Oh, super. So this is fab, guys. This is what Joe's been making. How long has it took you? Oh, God. It's ages, isn't it? Ages, yeah. Uh, All from some flat cardboard. <laughs> all right. All made from some flat yeah, all, this is all made from some flat cardboard. The whole thing. Okay. Then, all oh right, I can, I need to uh, see if I can run that up a bit. Up a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. 
try and spin the, the, the front of it so we'll have to that's that. so if we if we if we keep, we go round see there's got lights in it now as well so everything here every single thing here totally 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 made from scratch it's, it's actually not a great angle is it here it might be better so originally it was cut out of cardboard and the church was originally made out of cardboard and then everything else i'll show you the top bit in a minute everything else is uh is made is cut it's all then covered in in uh clay clay yeah it's all covered in clay and then etched and carved all, all these icicles are um uh, what are they uh, resin these resin uh the resin and the windows are um, covered in resin as well. Oh yeah, so the the stained glass windows are, are made out of resin, and then they, there's this is it's all clay, isn't it? Yeah, that you can't really see on the picture, but it's got. Um, yeah, there's like glitter, glitter on it as well, so it looks like ice. Is it polymer clay? It's uh, um, quick uh, air dry clay. Air dry clay, it is. There's even a gravestone at the back. Oh, but it's not got my name on it. <laughs> uh, you can't, This. The, it's really hard to see. Let me just take the camera off the, the thing because the the, it, the roof as well, everything you is... You want me to move this? That's, uh, that. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. So we can see like uh, this, the... the I might be able to see some of the glitter. And then there's a tree. The house actually lifts off as well, so you can get the lights inside. It's a snowman. So it's got like those electric uh, tea lights. I've got my battery powered ones, you know. And these icicles are resin. It was dripped while I dried. And it's all covered in clay. And then carved. Just lump of snow. <laughs> it sits on a cardboard base. Super. Super duper. Super duper. Anyway, guys, I am gonna go now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow night's live stream is for uh, Mark Barnes's uh, patches for the Wave State. So that should be the, they are really truly remarkable. Um, and that, he was the only person I could find that was actually selling them, and they were so good, I just bought them. And then asked him, I, I said, Mark, is it all right if I um, demo your patches? And he said, Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> uh, so if anybody ever gets a wave state, I I definitely go and buy them patches because they're really brilliant. They really are good. And it just add, plus he adds he's put all the programs in as well, so all the separate programs that make up the patches. Brilliant stuff. What were the what were the lights? The little tea lights, um, battery operated tea lights. They just uh, oops, they're just battery operated tea lights that flicker. Yes, yes. It's very cool. Is it heavy? Got to be at least. It's got to be at least a kilo of clay on that, and that's heavy. That is quite heavy. A lot of clay in there. Right, guys, brilliant. I'll let you say ta to each other. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, Playbeat. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a Wave State demo, some presets and stuff like that. Anyway, ta, -ta. Oh, Also, as well, I'm, I'm thinking, according to UPS delivery from France, Artoria have sent me a key, uh, I have, uh, this Keystep Pro is on the way, so hopefully we'll be able to start doing some demos for that as well. 
real soon. Okay, so uh, yes, yes. See you guys later. Ta-ra. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, oh. guys.